Hey friends. So I wanted to get into a topic. Um, something that the, the, the church would get into. Or most evangelists that would say, you need to get right. Gotta get right. Hey. Gotta live right, righteous. So what is righteous? What is live right? What is get right? What is, you know, be, uh, you know, being sin free? What is spotless? What is being, you know, of a clean and pure heart? What does all that mean? And who is the most appropriate person to deliver that kind of encouragement? So the topic that I wanted to get into is, uh, is it the people who think they know what all that means are the people who deliver these messages or people who went through the suffering and learning experiences uh, in order to know what to say? So kind of like how I am with my channel, um, if I hadn't gone through such and such experiences, I wouldn't be able to articulate how I say things. So that's why, you know, I kind of, I feel sorry because I keep referencing something negative, but it's my way of trying to go back in time and say from that point forward um, is the reason why I'm progressing in this direction. Because it wasn't up until someone really angered me a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. Uh, that has been my driving force to not justify or prove, you know, that I'm appropriate for a platform to speak for people, but it's the, the will of the person who is going through the suffrage and the torment in order to have a, a tapping ghost in my car. <laughs> um... Anyways, that's another topic I want to get into later. Uh, but it's really people who have been gone through the ringer who really can understand perspective and know how to guide and direct themselves. And also, too, they're, they're good for, like, mindfulness. They're good for advice. They're good for friendships and many people they, they doubt me over time because they feel like it's being fake when all I'm doing is just growing up from where I was you know can't people grow up can't people learn from uh, not mistakes or errors but can people just learn from looking back period you can be great at something and look at how you did it and then just by looking back going yeah I did that and I could, I could, I could, could have more precision here and then da 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 and become better that way. Um, a great example is I had a friend yesterday, she posted on Facebook about London, uh, how they, um, I guess, uh, built a robotic Trump tweeting on a toilet. So <laughs> I know it's kind of funny. But, and my, my statement to her was, now how mature is that? And she took it offensive. That I, she thought I was attacking her and her maturity. She's like, yeah, but he's the biggest uh, loose cannon, the biggest asshole this planet has ever had. And I'm like, you didn't think about that 10 years ago about him. So me being Angel's advocate, um, I continue to antagonize her intentionally because I said who are we to walk the earth um, accusing people and making them like we've never met this person in person so who are we to judge and she's never met me in person we've only been friends only on Facebook and so uh, I was just going into she is just exemplifying the anger that she has in general because this one topic that she will not let go is the same thing why she's being unrighteous 
And this goes to my category of righteousness today and living right. It's really like when you've gone through, so I'm seeing how in five years from now, if there is a five years, um, she will get to a point of understanding her darkness and building her bridge to the total light that she is. And that's the whole point of this whole process of being here. I think, in my opinion, let me scoot the camera up a little bit. Sorry for the rumbling. Uh, it's really about going through it and understanding and coming out spotless. It's like a car wash. I really just kind of summed the whole video up just by that statement. And you can't convict and condemn people and antagonize them until, you know, they give up and you like, ha ha ha, I was right. They were a wrong person. Because that's what she accused me of was being mean. And uh, I was like, this isn't like a, a message of being mean. It was really just to help you self-reflect. And yes, my ego was involved because I hate seeing people dig a hole under themselves when it's easy to not do that. You know, it, it's... And I was somebody who... <laughs> I've always dug holes under my own feet for about 12 years. I would say from the age of 19 to about 31 years old. Yep. Yeah. Even like up until 34 years old. Even last year when I was 35. Um, I, I, I was digging so many holes. And each time that I fell through, I still had to have the strength to climb back out make a couple more steps up oh, I dug another hole fell Just climb back up it's either you give up on yourself through this whole process of um, breaking yourself down beating yourself up you gotta climb up and you know have some adversity so adversity is painful you gotta stand in front of people and own yourself and take accountability and then sometimes you got to watch the atmosphere around you detach because they, they've watched you fall and get up and fall. And people just don't want to watch that because it self-reflects them. So a lot of times people just leave you. They back off. So going back to yesterday, this um, smarty pants thought it was smart to uh, write a post regarding me on Facebook and what she said was uh and it had a lot to do with this channel as well and my group beautiful souls on facebook she says um for someone to say that he is it was in the nutshell of basically saying that i force words down people's mouth and uh i don't give people uh of free will time to really think freely and collect themselves and then allow them to see the truth but it's like but the truth is not you know oh here's this in her perspective in her world because this is why i have an, a, a, an assumption that there are two earths going on in one reality right now there really is because i'm trying to wrap my head around why don't i have an issue with i mean i have things that I go, ooh, I wouldn't do it that way when I look at Donald Trump. But there's, so I, I mean, because he was a celebrity and he was on The Apprentice, and I saw the charitable things that he has done when I was much younger, and I saw the money he gave to black communities, I've seen those things. People just have this resistance to want to believe it because they think because someone who speaks irrationally uh, but that's like when someone goes through life with irrational behavior around them. That's all they self, it's self-reflection. So for me, because I had to tolerate um, childhood abuse from a family member, um, abandonment, separation from my father. Um, I was watching alcohol abuse with my uncles and aunts. Um I always have to learn to just be independent. 
because I didn't understand why they were doing all that. <laughs> Even my father, like I love my dad, um, but why, you know, he would gamble a lot. And so I would think, why would he just abandon me at school knowing he was supposed to pick me up to go gamble? Now, as an adult, I let it go. I forgive because it's only going to make him get through the process of healing faster and <laughs> he doesn't have to beat himself up over anything. That was the whole point of me in my awakening experience was to allow my father to unburden himself for what he did to all of my siblings. And it, my dad was my age when, you know, so I can only just relate to if I had kids while I was being a hot mess and learning about myself and, and not having a spiritual awakening, you know, so I have to give basically everybody who's older than me a hall pass because um, there wasn't a process of ascension there wasn't an awakening experience back then like this whole awakening experience and spirituality and, and this new birth of